What is up, Capricorn? This is Vicky from Valkyrie Tarot coming at you for your love and soulmate reading for the second half of April 2020. So this will run about from the 15th to the 30th. All right. Um, for those of you that follow me, you know that I was doing discounted readings. I am now back to the normal price. So if you are interested in a personal reading, the information is below, but just keep in mind, I am about a week behind just because of how many people have reached out to me. Apparently those discounted readings were quite popular. Um, so I am getting to you. If you guys have ordered one, it will be on its way. Um, I will communicate with you guys via email when that happens. Okay. All right. All right, Cap, what do we got going on for you for the second half? Let's go Cappy Caps. Eight of Wands, communication is coming your way, or at least we're in the energy of wanting to communicate. All right. You know how it goes. First card is you. We are in the tower. All right. So, Cap, you're in the tower energy, scorpionic energy. This is a change. This is a big change happening in your life. So either positive or negative, it kind of depends on you. Only you'll know how it resonates. But this is allowing a change to happen so that you can grow from it, learn from it, and be a better person. Your loved one over here is in the Four of Pentacles. So this is somebody who is um, not playing close to the chest anymore, might be a little too free with their money if we're talking about finances, but if we're talking about relationships, this is somebody who's letting themselves be vulnerable. Energy between the two of you is the Five of Pentacles in reverse. So a healing type of energy, no longer feeling isolated, no longer feeling left out in the cold. Challenge is the Queen of Wands in reverse. So we might be seeing someone who's lacking a little bit of their self um, their power, okay? So not being able to step into their power, lacking some confidence, um, not following their intuition. Uh, also, when we see the Queen of Wands in reverse, this might be a woman that's very quick to temper, very uh, hot-headed. Blockage is the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom. So the two of you might be married, okay? Because the Ten of Pentacles is the family card. Uh, but this is also ultimate stability at the foot of the problem here. So we're going to see how that resonates with you. Past situation currently influencing you is the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, not being able to put the work into a situation and or perhaps losing your job. And past situation from your loved one's point of view is the Lovers in reverse. Okay, so that is Gemini energy. This is the Aries energy, by the way. Um, so there might have been a choice to end this relationship or there might have been a breakup um, either between you and your loved one or between your loved one and another person that's hanging on their head right now. Outcome from your point of view is the King of Pentacles not wanting to offer stability, not wanting to make a, um, not wanting to make a, an effort towards creating a stable home life. Your loved one over here is in the Nine of Pentacles, so might be taken and or really is in the energy of being independent and remaining independent. Overall outcome, we have the Two of Wands. So deciding, should I stay or should I go? Trying to decide which way you want to go in this relationship. And the energy underneath the deck, Scorpionic energy, King of Cups in reverse. This is somebody who is not emotionally stable. Um, might be a little manipulative with their emotions as well. Okay. King of Cups in the upright is one of the best cards in the deck. So something's happening with this King of Cups. It's either you or your loved one, but there is an imbalance in the emotions that's causing a lot of uh, issues with this. Right, what is this tower about? What's the tower about? <coughs> Seven of Cups. So somebody not being authentic or somebody having too many choices, too many options, and it's causing confusion. Yeah, and there's no closure. Um, and or you guys might be apart at a distance right now. So there's an inability to have um, this cycle come to an end or there's an inability to travel towards each other. With the Four of Pentacles over here, we have the Page of Cups. So this is an offer of an apology, Pisces energy. Um, it's it's not necessarily an offer of affection, but it's more of a, a small, you know, communication of like, hey, I'm sorry. Yeah, and over here we have the High of Priestess. High of Priestess. <laughs> High Priestess in reverse. Uh, Cancerian or Pisces energy as well. This is somebody who is all up in their head. They're not following their intuition. They're overthinking things, and they've probably completely pulled away at this point, and they're very much in almost like an isolation or a ghosting type of mode because they are trying to work through their process. What's this? Five of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. All right, so this is popping up a lot. I, I feel like the Three of Pentacles is definitely something um, related to third-party energies related to work or related to home life. 
okay? Focusing more on money and stability um, than on the relationship, having to really step back from putting energy into the relationship and focus on, um, you know, the stability of oneself, family, work, etc. It's actually come out a lot. And then we have the two of cups to confirm that. So this is definitely a soulmate thing. So the way I'm reading this is that somebody is has been putting a lot of effort into maintaining a stable home life um, in order to you know, work hard so that in the future they can provide for this union, okay? Um, or they are trying to prove that they are stable enough to have this union, um, like and be financially stable enough to maintain this relationship. Yeah, so we have the, uh, the, wow, five of pentacles over here to confirm the queen of wands. The queen of wands is, um, wow, sorry, my hand just started hurting really bad. Um, the queen of wands is a lack of confidence right now, and it might be because somebody feels left out in the cold. It could possibly be that one of you is working really hard to be able to provide money for the um, the relationship or the home life because if you guys are married um, somebody's working really hard to try and keep things afloat for the family and the other person might be feeling a little left behind by it sorry I don't know why my hand hurts it's usually what happens when I do Reiki when I can feel that something's off in someone's body so that's interesting all right what is um what is this ten of pentacles about king of swords so somebody might have said something that was a little hurtful like hey I'm focusing on XYZ and there's that tower moment so whatever was said Aquarius energy whatever was said was causing that tower moment so cap I'm feeling it's you you must have said something in this relationship and your loved one must be this uh, Queen of Wands over here there's definitely a little bit of a an issue here there might have been an argument that left the other person kind of out in the cold they might be feeling like hey i just want to spend time with you and you're like hey i need to focus on the family you know over here in the past you weren't able to put the work in you're not looking for forgiveness right now there's no apology there's no moving forward um towards reconciliation at this point in time but <laughs> mm. Because you, <laughs> in the past, you weren't able to put the work in, but now you're putting the work in, okay? So that's actually a good thing. You're really focusing on this relationship. So there might have been a breakup in the past because of a lack of passion or a lack of wanting to move forward with this relationship. Uh, yeah, and then a lack of, uh, you know, move, perhaps you're moving forward too slowly because you're working too much on the financial aspects or the stability of the relationship. What's this King of Pentacles about? So you're still not able to have a committed relationship yet because, all right, King of Wands popping up. So very passionate, very driven. And we have the Five of Swords. So no longer feeling defeated about something. Your loved one over here is definitely in their strength too. So they're stepping up into their own power. Leo energy, Leo energy. But there's still an uneven give and take. What's this two of wands? So there's a choice. Should I stay or should I go? Two of wands. Dealing with some heartbreak here. I'm really feeling that this is somebody who was working too much and not giving enough attention to the relationship. Yeah, so you're not getting a new relationship. No one's moving on from this right now. But there's some depression here about what's going on. Empress, very nurturing energy welcoming energy taking care of this is the mother of the deck yeah and moving forward out of this pain because of resting and recuperation so yeah okay the the energy sorry the energy under the deck is the seven of pentacles so somebody's waiting to see how this turns out i am definitely reading this as somebody is is putting the work in outside of the home and it's causing the other person to be like really anxious and like hey i just want to spend time with you why can't we spend time together why is it taking so long for you to figure out what you want you're it's almost like the great gatsby you know what i mean if those of you have seen the movie or read the book preferably this man absolutely falls in love with this other woman of a higher status okay he's in the military he knows that he doesn't measure up to this woman so he goes away to try and you know raise his stature try and earn the right 
to be level with her. He knows he's just, he's poor. You know what I mean? So he has to kind of like raise himself up, pull himself up by the bootstraps and the American philosophy of it. He finally comes back. He's finally rich and he's famous and he's this Gatsby now. And during this whole time, this woman has moved on and decided to marry someone else. And he's not really a great guy either, but they wind up reuniting and they wind up coming back together and she's all in love with him but he realizes that she was always in love with him regardless of what he had but now at this point in time he's had to play this role and he's had to pretend to be this person of a higher stature that he can't escape it you know what i mean so it's um the moral of that basically is you know you can put all the work in that you want to try and maintain a family atmosphere or be able to take care and be stable moving forwards that's totally fine that's very respectable but you have to explain that to your loved one if they don't understand why you're doing it they're gonna get all up in their head and they're gonna you know some people their their love like love language requires them to spend time with you and if you're not spending enough time with them they get depressed they get upset they get insecure um, you know things like that Spirit of fire, passion, creativity, spark. Yeah. Spirit of the Christ, that's been coming out a lot too. Forgiveness, reconciliation, unconditional love. And spirit of earth, nature, grounded, ancestors. All right, so I feel like once you have your feet underneath you, Cap, excuse me, you're going to be able to move forward. Your loved one's going to forgive you, and there's going to be a, you're going to be able to reignite this passion between the two of you. I'm really feeling that this is a married couple or a, you know, a long-standing committed couple here. Um, there just needs to be a communication towards why you haven't been present. There are still so many things unsaid between us. So again, that's a conversation that I think you guys need to have. Um, if you are doing that, wow, okay. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from... Um, your usual type of expectations codependency addictions are affecting your romantic love life so that might be the issue is your love one might be really codependent on you um and it's causing frustrations one more card here and stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance all right capricorn i hope this resonated with you if it did my cappy caps Please like, share, and subscribe. If it didn't, that's totally fine. I'll see you in a couple weeks. Stay safe. Doses.